Hi, Cheryl. Well, today, Chesterfield schools began the process of bringing back students to the classroom. And according to spokesperson Sean Smith, that means about a thousand special education students walked through their doors today for the very first time across the district. Now, we watched as some of the buses dropped off these students at Midlothian High School. Special education students are the first group or cohort to be phased back into the classroom. They'll be at their schools in person for four days a week. Now, the goal is to phase in the remaining cohorts or groups every two weeks with all grades back in the classroom by mid-November, according to Smith. However, students in pre-K through 12th grade will only be attending school two days a week and will work virtually the other three. But those students that do want to remain virtual can do so, according to Smith. As for the students, though, who return today, Smith says so far things have been going well. He says students are wearing masks and social distancing as much as possible. We've had a really positive response. We know that certainly parents may have had a chance to, to adjust and getting their child to the bus stop and, and students getting to school. So know that we, certainly there may be some issues along the way, but we'll begin to kind of smooth those things out throughout this week. We are unique in Chesterfield, one of the few uh, school divisions across the Commonwealth of Virginia that's adhering to CDC guidelines and still bringing back their students and phase and reproaches. So appreciate their parents working closely with their students, reminding them of those requirements as we enter the, the school building. This afternoon, the school board is expected to meet at 3 p.m. to continue this discussion. They will be hearing from the health panel who will give their recommendation on whether or not cohort two can return to the classroom. Cohort two includes pre-K through third graders. And if the board does decide to move forward on that recommendation, then those students would begin class on October 12th. Again, they would just be returning to the classroom two days a week. Our reporter Jake Burns will be following this story and we'll have an update this evening. Working for you in Chesterfield, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.